welcome back. This week we're going to work with scanned maps that are called digital raster graphics. So they're basically topographic maps produced by the U.S. Geological Survey, and then they're scanned. And here's an example. We've got the Big Delta 1 to 250,000 quad. And if we look at the properties of that map, it's in UTM Zone 6, NAD 27. And the other digital raster graphic is the Eagle, 1 to 250,000 scale quad, and it's in UTM Zone 7. So basically, we've got two rasters. They're in the UTM coordinate system. The one that's to the west is in UTM Zone 6. The one that's to the east is in UTM Zone 7. So what we're going to do is cut out these two rasters and then project them into the Alaska Albers coordinate system so they're in one consistent coordinate system. So it's going to basically be a three-step process. The first step will be to create polygons in longitude and latitude because we know the exact longitude and latitude of the corners of these rasters. So for example, this corner is exactly 147 degrees west, 64 degrees north. So once we have our polygons in longitude and latitude, our second step will be to project them to UTM coordinates and clip out our rasters. And we need to clip out our rasters because basically what we have is white space. So here this white space is covering part of that raster. So we're going to clip right along the map collar. And then the third step will be to take the two clipped rasters, merge them together, and then project them into the Alaska Albers coordinate system. Okay, so the big delta quad has the lower left-hand corner at 147 degrees west, 64 degrees north, and the upper right corner is 65 degrees north, 144 degrees west. So using that information, we can make a fishnet that's going to be one square that will cover that latitude and longitude. Okay, so we use the Create Fishnet tool. I'm going to make a shapefile called Big Delta Geographic Coordinate System NAD27. And the origin will be at the lower left-hand corner of my scan map. And then we want our y-axis to go straight north. So I say the same x value and then go north to 90 degrees, for example. And then our width will be, we're going from negative 147 to negative 144. So that's a width of 3 degrees. We're going from 64 degrees to 65 degrees. So that's a height of 1 degree. And then one row, one column, and then create a polygon. And if we look at the properties of that polygon, we indeed have an extent where on the left, it's negative 147. On the right, it's negative 144. The bottom is 64, and the top at 65. And you notice there's question marks. It doesn't know what the units are because it doesn't know what the coordinate system is. So the next step will be to run the define projection tool to define the coordinates of this new polygon. So it's going to be geographic coordinate system, North America, and in Alaska, NAD 27, and then OK. OK, and we repeat the process for the next map. So the lower left-hand corner, 64 degrees north, 144 degrees west. And the upper right-hand corner, 65 degrees north, 141 degrees west. So we can use the results tab to recall our create fishnet. So the only thing I changed was the name of the output feature class. And then my origin now, instead of being 147, is negative 144. And then we want to go straight north and then just OK. And then likewise, from our results tab, we'll recall the define projection tool. And then this time, we're going to define it for eagle. Geographic Coordinate System NAD27 and OK. 
Okay, so we've got our two polygons. They're in geographic coordinate system NAD27, and the corners will match our map collars, or geographic coordinate system NAD27. So the next step is to project them into the UTM coordinate system. And big delta, you will recall, is in zone 6, and eagle, you will recall, is in zone 7. So we'll run the project tool twice to project this big delta polygon into UTM zone 6, this eagle polygon into UTM zone 7. Then the safest thing to do would be to import the coordinate system directly from our scan map. So if we go up to this globe and then import, we're going to import it from the big delta quad and then OK. So that guarantees we'll get the coordinate system that scan map right now has. And then once again, we'll use the results tab and then recall the project tool and then we'll do it for the Eagle NAD27. And import it from that Eagle 250K map. And you notice it is zone seven. Okay, you'll notice that here we've got the big delta clipping polygon. It's not on the line we desire. And the reason is we created this polygon basically by connecting two points. And what we need to do is not just have two points for a three degree wide line, but have many points along that three degree line because that line is actually a curve when we project it into the UTM coordinate system. So we'll use a densify tool and put a point along this line in geographic coordinates every tenth of a degree. Actually, we'll densify every one hundredth of a degree, and that will give us many points along each line of the polygon. And then OK, then repeat the process for our other uh, polygon that's in geographic coordinate system. So every one hundredth of a degree, put a vertex in that polygon. And then we can use the results window to recall our project tool. And now we'll project those densified polygons that have many vertices into the UTM coordinate system. So now you notice our line is perfectly on the map collar because basically we densified that line and now we have not a straight line that's three degrees straight, but rather a curved line that follows that map collar. Okay, so now we can use our polygons to cut out everything that's inside the map collar and throw away all this white space that's outside the map collar. So to do that, we're going to use a clip tool. And there's two clip tools, one for clipping points, lines, and polygons, and one for clipping rasters. So the one for rasters is in the data management toolbox. Okay, and the only thing tricky about using this clipping tool is we're going to say, okay, clip this raster using this polygon. What you have to do is down here, use input features for clipping, check that on, or else it won't cut using the exact polygon. So always make sure you have that checked on. And then our output will be clipped big delta 250k TIFF. And then we'll use the results window to repeat the process for our other map. Okay, so here's our clipped big delta map. And then here's our clipped eagle map. And they do basically visibly appear to be continuous seamless map. But what we want to do is actually make them a seamless map as one file. So what we're going to do now is project from UTM coordinates into the Alaska Albers coordinate system. And that way, uh, it'll be one continuous coordinate system. Here we've got zone 6 versus zone 7 in the UTM coordinate system. And my data frame will be one of those zones. So my data frame right now is displaying everything in UTM zone 7. OK, so we're going to project into the Alaska Albers equal area conic, which is in the North America folder of projected coordinate systems. 
and the appropriate transformation is NAD27 to NAD83 Alaska. Okay, in projecting rasters, you have two options. One is what's the resampling technique. So basically, we're going to take these grid cells and reproject them into another coordinate system. Do you want to fill these grid cells using the nearest value or some weighted average of the surrounding uh, value? So a weighted average example would be bilinear interpolation. That would be the weighted average of the four closest pixels that were in the original map projection. So here we're going to use the nearest neighbor resampling because basically we have whole numbers representing colors on our map. And then you as a user specify the output cell size. So let's specify it to be 25 meters rather than 25.0. And then using the results window again, we'll repeat that for our other map. So we'll repeat it for the Eagle map. And OK. OK, so now our two maps are in the Alaska Albers coordinate system, NAD83. And the final step will be to merge these together. And what we need to know is before we use a tool for merging these two maps together, what is the pixel type. So in this case, my pixel type is unsigned integer 16 bits. So we need to know that before we run a tool called mosaic to new raster. Okay, so right here by default, we'd have the wrong pixel type. So we need to change that. So it was 16 bit unsigned. And then the number of bands is how many values are there inside every cell. So if we look at in the table of contents, basically we've got one value in each cell representing these colors. So it's just one band. And then just OK. OK, so here's our original big delta quad and our original eagle quad. And here's the one file that's the mosaic of those two together. So now we've got one file covering the entire Big Delta area and the entire Eagle area. And it's in the Alaska Albers coordinate system. Okay, so that's what we're going to do this week is work with these digital raster graphics or scanned USGS topo maps.